Hi everybody, this is Kelly Kelly, an independent Jamboree consultant. And in this installment, I am going to show you how I put my jams on my already prepped nail. In case you missed the nail prep one, I scraped off all my cuticle cuticles and used the cuticle remover pen and cleaned them off afterward with the nail prep cleanser to make sure there was no oils on my nail. Okay, so now you have a perfectly prepped nail. You haven't touched it. There's no oil on it. It's nice and clean, no cuticles. What do I do next? So I have my sheet of nails. I'm going to look for the one that closest fits my, my nail the closest, and I think it's this one. Now, in choosing which one fits closest, we would rather have one that is slightly too small than one that is slightly too big. Because if it goes onto your skin or your cuticle, it will lift, and that is sort of not going to help. Not going to give you that nice two weeks of wear that we really like with our jam berries. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's on the end of my orange stick. There it is. Ta-da! This is Mad Hatter. And I'm going to heat it using my handy dandy jam berry mini heater until it gives a little bit of curl. There, it's nice and soft. And then I'm going to line this up and put it on my nail. I'm not going to mash it down right away just in case it's not lined up perfectly, but this looks pretty good. I'm going to push it down on the one side and roll it over and push it down on the other, and then I'm going to mash it some more. Now, just for good measure, I am going to heat my nail once more until I am going, yeah, ow, 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 that's too warm, and mash it down a little more. Now, normally I would go on and do the rest of my nails before I trimmed this one, but because uh, you probably don't want to watch me do all my nails, I'm going to go ahead right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my handy dandy pair of nail scissors, and I actually got that stuck to my finger. I'm going to go carefully around the edge of my nail and just trim off the excess first. My next step after I make sure it's not so stuck to my finger because, you know, that's not very much. I, I want it on my nail, not on my finger. Okay. I'm going to take my rough emery board. In this case, it's the Jamberry emery board. And I am going to go straight down. And you can see it's starting to peel here. That's what it's supposed to do. Basically, you're cutting off the edge. That's why the emery board is so coarse. It's not the usual finish emery board that we're used to seeing in the drugstore or in our, our uh, cabinets. And there we go. It took off the edge. There's the edge right there. And there we go. Ta-da! And as usual, a shout out to my handy assistant and her sister who happened to come downstairs. <laughs>